EFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the 20th of September. We're looking at the Dow down 373 points at 30,643, still above the low of three days ago, but it's really struggling. It's way underneath the uh, uh, nine period exponential moving average of 31,181. And uh, the MACD is still weak. The stochastic is down 11%. On balance volume is very poor. We're also, <coughs> no, I cannot do that, surely. We're looking at the S&P. The S&P is down uh, as well. This is going to be very interesting because the S&P is down 45 points. If I can just type that in right there. And uh, it, it too, is above the low of three days ago. Yesterday made a fractionally higher low. And today we'll see what happens. But at uh, 3855, if this trades down to the 3830s uh, in the next day or so, that's really very poor action. And we're waiting, of course, for the Fed tomorrow at, new, at 2 o'clock to come out with uh, the Fed speak, whatever the book says. We're looking at down 2.20 in the uh, QQQ, down at the 28.8 level. Uh, this is going to also be very – they're all in exactly the same situation. If they take out the lows of three days ago significantly, that is going to be quite something. You're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. And, of course, yesterday it, it had a very good session. Today it's given back a huge chunk down to 90 at 177. Now, this is going to be very important because gold – is attempting to come back a little bit. It's down six at 1672. It is not acting very well. You can understand why, because the dollar is trading up 63 ticks at 110.25. This is very strong action. We'll see if tomorrow afternoon, Wednesday afternoon, where the dollar is. That's going to be very important because if you're looking at the TLT, can you believe this TLT just got smashed again? Down a dollar thirty at one hundred six point oh two. So rates are, are, are screaming to the upside, and if you're looking at crude oil, there's no help there, because uh, crude oil is down as well, and that's suggesting that there's kind of an economic slowdown. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few minutes' time. Don't forget, Larry Pesavento has got his uh, all-day webinar going on right now. I'll be back in a moment for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Hope you can stay. Check out my opening call, Daily News Seven. 